What is going on you guys? Today we are going to be painting the brake calipers. Now, I know I have six piston brake calipers, but I don't like the matte finish that uh, these cars come with from the factory. So we're gonna be painting it red and then we're just gonna be putting a sticker over the calipers. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. First thing you're gonna need is some brake cleaner. I have some extra here. Now the kit that I'm going to be using is the G2 caliper paint and it comes with brake cleaner already. So if you don't have any, don't worry. And also make sure your car is on all four jacks and all four wheels are off too. It'll make it a lot easier when you go to start painting. The first thing we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead, spray the calipers with some brake cleaner just to start off by. So let's do that. So now that we sprayed the caliper with brake cleaner, something that you don't have to do with something I like to do is just get a old rag cloth, whatever, with some soapy water and just go around and start washing down all the calipers to get any kind of dirt directly off of it. So we're going to go ahead and do all four, then I'll show you what we're doing afterwards. So now what we're going to do, just drop any excess that we have on the caliper. Now you could just spray it again with brake cleaner, help evaporate it a lot faster. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Just go ahead and let it dry off real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and tape everything off. All right, now all we gotta do, just tape off the rotor and all the rubber around the uh, caliper. So right above the brake bleeder, you can take it off. Um, you can leave it on. I mean, I would still tape it off either way, just so that way you don't paint it. And then we're also gonna do behind the caliper and then go ahead and tape off all four. So let's go ahead and do that. Perfect, let me strip that top off there. Now all we have to do is just paint a little bit. Let's pop it open here. Perfect, there's our red paint there. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our reactant and what this does basically, once you add it in, the paint you cannot be reused because what it does is it hardens the paint. That's basically what makes it harden on the caliper. So all we have to do is just pour the whole thing in. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and shut it again and then just shake it up. G2 does come supplied with its own paintbrush. Um, I do not recommend it. I'll put a link in the description to a pack of paintbrushes that I have, but I can't find them, so I guess we're stuck using this one now. But the paintbrushes that you wanna use is an acid-free brush. Something simple you probably find at like Michael's or something like that. Pop this open, we can start painting the caliper. Also recommend having some type of box underneath it with you to pick up any paint drips or spills that happen and don't forget a light to help you see if you're working at night like me. Let's go ahead and start painting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just do one coat at a time and as each coat is drying we are going to be moving on to each different caliper so by the time we come back to the same caliper, the paint should have dried by then. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for the coat to dry. Now, don't forget, the first coat doesn't have to be perfect because it is the first coat. You're not gonna start covering the whole caliper yet. You're definitely still gonna be able to see through all of it. So don't worry. If it's coming out see-through like how mine is, you can still see the Brembo on there and everything like that. All right, you guys, so this is basically our first coat. It has dried now. We went ahead and did the other three calipers. I don't know if you can see back there. Basically, this is what it's gonna look like. It's like not a perfect first coat or anything like that. So, you know, yours could turn out better, yours could turn out worse. But basically, we're just gonna start going ahead, going to the second coat, third coat, first coat, second coat, third coat, and most likely we will be putting on a fourth coat. So we'll do that, and then once I get Putting the finish, putting on the last coat, I will be updating you guys. Here is the final end result of painting the calipers. We went ahead and did all four. As you can see, after you start putting some coats on there, it starts thickening up a little bit, so cover some of those empty streaks that you left there. Um, again, be sure not to get any rubber. Make sure you tape off any rubber that you have there. Let's go check out the other side. Here's where a lot easier than the fronts, considering there's a lot less room to cover. There are 
rubber covers, seals, I guess you could say, for where the uh, piston bolts are to pull the piston back and forth. Just make sure that you don't get paint on those. If you do, it's okay. Um, as the piston moves back and forth, it will slowly crack off, but it will shorten the life of the rubber seal on that. So be sure not to get that. But anyways, guys, that does it. We do have some decals coming in that we're going to be putting on the brake because we did cover the Brembo logo on there. So we're going to be putting our own custom decal on there. Um, it does take 24 hour heel time. So after a few hours, if you did this during the daytime, you could just put the wheels on it and roll it around wherever you want to as long as you know, you're not driving it and causing the brakes to heat up. So we're going to leave this on here for 24 hours. We're going to put the wheels on and then I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys. So 12 hours later, the calipers are basically dried. Um, they do have the finish on them. Still going to wait about another 10 hours or so. But overall, they look great. Nice bright red, what we're looking for. Perfect. We taped off what we needed to to keep the paint. As you can see, we got some on the top of the uh, where the rotor would have been, basically. And some at the bottom here. Got a little bit on the rotor, but not to worry. That's going to come off. Overall, though, I think we did a great job. Rear rotor looks nice and bright as well. Just exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. All right, you guys. So that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.